This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. Finishing off the tools on the modify toolbox, we'll have a look at the insert vertex, delete vertex, construct circular fillet, and construct chamfer. Let's start with insert vertex. Notice there are no settings in the tool settings window. And let's zoom into the block first. These, of course, are vertexes or vertices, if you prefer. So we're adding to the four vertices of this block. So click and drag, and there's a new vertex. And you can keep repeating this process as often as you wish. Zooming out a little bit. Tool still running. Which elements can't you add a vertex to? Well, if you try to add a vertex to a circle, which actually has no vertices in the first place, you're told that you can't do it. There's a stop sign essentially there. Same goes for the ellipse, which is a closed shape and no vertices. A curve has no vertices, so you can't add. And you can add a vertice to a smart line line but you can't add it to a smart line arc. You can add it to individual lines, and you can add it to a smart line string. So that makes perfect sense, I think. What happens if we go to the next tool, which is Delete Vertex? And now you're simply taking vertexes out of the closed system. What happens if you keep taking vertices out? Now we're down to a triangle. Next question is, can we take one more out? No. Workstation won't let us take another one out, because to do so would violate the closed shape element. And we can take vertices out of this line too. Same goes for the smart line. And let's take this one out too, since we put one in. Can we take them out of a closed shape? No. It tells us that we can't do that. We can reduce this to two lines quite easily. What happens if we do this? We lose a line because a vertex has been removed. So a line needs two vertices, so it disappears. And we're left with this curious thing here. And we can identify that with the element selection tool. And it says it's a line, which is actually true in a technical sense. What it actually is, is a line with no dimensions. It's a point. And there's actually a toolbox in MicroStation which deals with points as elements. But that's what's happened. We've taken one vertice out of the line, leaving one vertice left, which is simply a point. Points can be quite useful, actually, although they're not covered in this course. I'm going to undo some changes here quite quickly and I'm going to zoom in on the rectangle. Now let's have a look at the next two tools. Construct Circular Fillet. Look at the options. We can set a specific radius. I preset six inches here. And the truncate option. Both, you'll see what this means in a second, or none, or first. Let's do both to start with. And we've set the radius for the fillet, so I need to select this edge, and this edge. And there's my circular fillet. And the truncate both meant that the line here has been trimmed and the line here has been trimmed. Let me undo that. Let's try it again with first. So now the first line I select will be trimmed, the second one won't. I'll select this line first, this line second. So again, this line has been trimmed, this one hasn't. Undo, and obviously none of the lines are trimmed. So we have the original corner plus the fillet. Let me undo that. And we'll go to the last tool, which is construct a chamfer. I'm going to change this to 6 inches, 0.5 and 0.5. 6 inches each. Note that you can have different distances for each side of the chamfer we have equal at the moment. Select one leg, 
select the next leg, and there's my chamfer. Undo. Let's change this to 10 inches. Leave the 6 inches in the first one. So the first distance, that's the first line to be selected. Second distance, second line. So this is a 6 inch chamfer, this is a 10 inch chamfer. All very straightforward. So those four tools won't present any problems at all for you. But as always, please practice.